Alrighty, now it's springtime, I'm putting these gloves on so I can go out and work in the yard. They're good for that. What these aren't good for is keeping the bloods off my hands from the demons I'm slaying. So that's why I'm bringing you this video today, the top five gloves in all of Diablo 2 Resurrected. Let's get after it. So I want to mention real quick, this isn't like some of the other lists I've done in the past. I've done strictly top five uniques in the past. This is going to be top five best gloves. Now, first of all, we're coming in at number six. Uh -huh. Yeah, I wanted to give you a bonus one. This one isn't used on particularly as many builds. In fact, it's just one, but it's the absolute go-to on an absolutely majestically powerful build here in Diablo 2 Resurrect, and that is 220 Rare Gloves. The most specific ones that are the best and used the most often are the 2-2 Javelin and Spear skills. Now, you can also get these in Bow and Martial Arts. Those aren't used as often because those builds weren't as good prior to Diablo 2 Resurrected. Maybe after the 2.4 patch comes out, maybe they'll be more viable and these will be more sought after. But for right now, the Javelin Gloves are the ones we're going to talk about. Now, you know the 2 goes to the skill. The 20 is increased attack speed. Now, you can get all different types of stuff to roll on these rare gloves. But the most important really are the resistances that you can get. And also, you can get up to 25% magic find. Now, unlike a lot of other items that are going to be on this list, you actually have to ID hundreds and hundreds and hundreds, maybe even thousands of these before you get a really, really good pair. It's not like a unique item. When it drops, you see the brown words and it's the right base and boom, you know you got an amazing item. So because right now it's specifically kind of just for the Javazan, but possibly for the martial arts and the boas being good in the 2.4 patch when it comes out, that's why this one's making an honorable mention at number six. So coming in at number five is a unique glove that is specifically for melee characters, and this is going to be Dracul's Grasp. Now these gloves are most noteworthy for the 5% chance of level 10 life tap. This skill is so important whenever you're using a Zealer or a Smiter or even a Frenzy Barb or whatever melee character that you are using, farming your Ubers or Diablo clone. Life tap is essentially like Life Leech on steroids. Once this 5% chance to life tap procs, you essentially cannot die as long as you never stop swinging. These gloves do also have a few other things to help your character out along with that 7% life leech, 25% chance of open wounds, and it even adds some strength to your character. Now these gloves aren't used to every single character, so I couldn't put it any higher on the list, but they're so important for some very important aspects of the game, farming torches and getting annies. That's why I decided to slide this one in at number five. Now number four is a glove that every single magic finder knows and loves, and these are chance guards. Now these don't necessarily have a ton of stuff in order to help out your character, with the exception of one very important thing on them and that is up to 40% better magic find. Now at the glove slot specifically for casters, a lot of times you'll throw on some gloves to get some faster cast rate. But if you have a character that's more end game or you're strictly just trying to get more magic find on a character, you're gonna wanna go to these chance guards. They are the most magic find that you can get on a glove in Diablo 2 Resurrected. Sometimes the glove slot can be a little bit weak. The glove's only bringing you one or maybe two little stats to help out your character. So stacking more magic find there can sometimes be a great option. Now these are an incredibly low level item. You can find these even early on in normal, but that doesn't mean that they're not absolutely amazing to use even end game. So because magic finding and getting better gear is such an important part of Diablo 2 Resurrected, obviously, that's why I'm putting these in at number four. So coming in at number three now, this is going to be a controversial one. I already know people are going to think it should probably be at number one or at least higher than number three. But here I'm going with Trang's gloves. Now, the reason I'm going with Trang's gloves here at number three is obviously they have 20% faster cast rate, making them good for any casters. And most of the best builds in Diablo 2 Resurrected are caster characters. But in Diablo 2, I have never had a situation where I was like, man, I think I just died there because I didn't have enough cold res. Now, with the exception of the faster cast rate, the cold res is essentially the only other thing on these gloves to really help your character out. 
Now the thing is though, that faster cast rate is so important because in a Diablo ladder, I bet you almost every single person at some point in that ladder will have a sorceress and those sorceresses need more FCR in order to reach certain breakpoints. On top of that, the next best character in the game or possibly the number one best character depending on who you're talking to, the Hammerden, you need more faster cast rate for that as well. Or the Necromancer is obviously going to be using Trang's gloves too, another caster character. So these gloves aren't incredibly rare, but they are incredibly useful because they're only one of two gloves in the entire game that do have FCR. So that's why I'm putting these Triangus gloves at number three. Now we're coming in at number two, and these are a go-to for almost every single melee character, unless you're running the Ubers or Diablo clone and using those Dracul's Grasp I mentioned earlier, and that is Lying of Hands. Wait, what? Oh, it's Laying of Hands? You're telling me I've been saying it wrong for 20 straight years? Oh wait, oh, it does literally just say laying of hands. But anyways, laying of hands are an incredible glove for any melee characters not going to be used on those casters though. They do have 20% increased attack speed. The most noteworthy thing on these though are a huge, massive, fat, 350% damage to demons. On top of that, they do also have fire res, which fire and lightning are the two most important resistances to take care of here in Diablo 2 Resurrected. Now, this is not an exaggeration to say that Lying of Hands is literally best in slot for almost every single melee character, unless, like I said, you're doing Ubers or D-Clone. The fact that every single melee character uses these is the reason I slid these all the way up to number two on the list. So most veterans probably know what glove is coming in at number one, whether they agree with it or not, that's a different story, and that is Mage Fist. Now like I've said for the Trangs gloves earlier, the casters in this game reign supreme. That's why this has 20% FCR, but on top of that it also has 25% to your mana regeneration. Now the argument I made against Trangs gloves just slightly, they are good gloves, but like I said, I never ever have thought, man, I need more cold res. I just died there because my cold res wasn't high enough. But all the time I sit there and think, wow, I'm really out of mana again. Especially earlier on in the game before you have a CTA or before your character is completely maxed out, you're running out of mana and you're chugging potions all the time. So while it's not an absolute crazy game changer, having extra mana regen will definitely help your character out. On top of that, if you're using any fire character, if you're, let's say, going to try to go with the new Hydra, you're going Firewall, Fireball Meteor, or anything like that, or even a Fire Druid, or a Fire Trapson, a bunch of fire builds here in Diablo 2 Resurrected, these gloves have one, two fire skills, which will help out any of those. So I was pretty confident in my opinion here of sliding Mage Fist up to number one because of all those reasons I said the casters reign supreme, they can help out all the different fire builds, and it has mana regen to help your character out. So I know the Mage Fist and Trangs level one is going to be controversial. Let me know down in the comments, respectfully, of course. If you agree or disagree or what you would change around in this list, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe up. If you're new to the channel, peace out. And don't forget, keep slaying.